Hi, this is Pip Payne, and you're about to see a tutorial from InDesign CC on paragraph styles. And I found that one of the main things that differentiates a power user from a new user is consistently using paragraph styles no matter what. They're a time saver, a very good way to stop errors, particularly in consistency. I'm going to magically put some text on the page, and here you see I'm using Lorem Ipsum and I've also set up a nice bit of space between the paragraphs. Now this is best practice for putting paragraph styles together. We'll start off by selecting a, one complete paragraph, going to, to my character formatting controls in the context menu above, and choosing a typeface. I'm going to choose from the top here, which are previously used typefaces that come up. I'm going to try that. I'm going to change it perhaps to 10 point and notice that the automatic leading of 20% is in brackets at 12 points, but I'm going to change it from auto to 14 points. That gives it a little bit more space uh, between the paragraphs. So let's say I'm happy with that. I'll go to my paragraph settings now. I've put 7 mil between paragraphs. Now that's probably going to be too much for anything, so 2 mils is probably quite a good thing to do. So once you've got your type as you want it, now you might want to do a style now, but we also might want to compare it to another typeface. So let's look at another typeface, and it's a good idea to set them up side by side so you can see what's going on. Um, let's choose a serif face. Okay, so again I'll change the letting, again I'll change this, take this down to 2. Which one do we like? Well I think I'm going to stick with the top one. So I can click anywhere inside that text box, go to type, paragraph styles and this is best practice for creating paragraph styles you select a paragraph you want to use and then it's as easy as new paragraph style give it a name and we'll run with that notice that it's not selected so I'll change that to body now if I want to create another style I can go new paragraph style body to apply style to selection that saves a wee bit of time as it will now already be styled to that selection I can control 0 Apple 0 to see the whole page select everything all the text that particular typeface if you're working with a document that has a lot of typefaces and styles be aware that you can create a new styling group and then group certain styles together. Space between paragraphs seems to be the common theme but be aware that you can differentiate paragraphs by putting a space at the beginning of your sentence. So if I move first line indent so now if I take out the space here we can see the that it's a new paragraph by the indent and if I save this paragraph style and I'll just change make a new paragraph style and then so I'll call it first line indent that's great apply style to selection I now have a style what if I want to update my style that's very easy as well if I take out the space after here I can simply you notice a plus applies which means that something has been added and I can simply go redefine style and the style is set I can select everything and call it this way notice it's a little bit tidier in visually and it also has the benefit of allowing columns to line up plus not many people use it these days so you can stand out from the crowd and that's it from this bring your own laptop tutorial on paragraph styles